All right, here we got two guys. We got Mike and Sean in the semifinals of the grappling tournament here at Hester's Family Fitness. Let's uh, go for leg sweep here. And yeah, he's wanting to work around the side and throw some type of judo sweep or throw. Mike also going for a takedown of his own. Looks like he's going with the old wrestler's technique, trying yeah. to catch the leg there. And he gets the takedown. Oh, it looks like he got him in a, in a guillotine there. And it looks like it's cinched in there. <laughs> you can see the the look on his face. He's that's really it. Reaching down, and that's it. That's it. That's, that's it. Guillotine is a definite fight ender, man. If you can sink that in, you're in trouble, man. You got you got your guy in trouble. Good move by Sean, and he's happy. We got Gavin Worth starting the action between Marco Aguirre and Jason Hazel. Both these guys full of spit and vinegar tonight. Yeah, they're, they're really they're really going at it. Good takedown by Marco. Got him in side control. Marco's also a very a very good uh, stand up fighter. Uh, he's he's another one that's that's you are gonna have to reckon with in the future. And he's doing really well here on the ground. He's uh, putting a lot of his weight down, bearing a lot of weight in that side control. Looks like he's going for the arm bar. And it looks like he may have it. And into the mirrors they go. <laughs> These guys are everywhere, man. I'm telling you, they they get into it, man. It's just like a real fight to them, except they can't strike, you know. He's setting up for the arm bar. Ooh, oh, wow, that looked ooh, nasty. That looked like a pop, for real. <laughs> he remains victorious. That was an excellent fight. A lot of action that... Here we have Josh Spencer and Chris Pfeiffer squaring off. This is a semifinal match. You've already seen uh, Josh Spencer go through one opponent. And, uh, and now, wow, he goes down into the guilt team, but now he, uh, he's in a half guard position. Working the, the wrist control, definitely good. What what does that, what, what, looks like he's trying to get him in a, uh, it looks like he's pulling the back of his, what do you call it, a can opener? Good old fashioned can opener. Yep. <laughs> I tell you what, man, it'll it'll make you think about letting go of that guard. They start wrenching yeah, in on that yeah, neck and it makes it hard to breathe. Yeah, he's trying to crank that neck. He got out of it though. Nice good hit move. Good hit movement, trying to get an arm bar. Josh is a little too slick for that though. He knows what's coming. Look at Josh with his hands up. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a, a tie fighter. I wonder where he got that from, Mike. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> So about keeping his hands up. Nice takedown. Into a guillotine. Josh is quick on those, man. I'll tell you, he catches me in them. And he's got it sunk in there. Yeah, he's really stretching him out. Let's see if he taps here, if he it, can get out. It may be game over for uh, Chris Pfeiffer. He needs to break loose of that guard and try to work around if he can, because if he stays there, That's he's going to tap. That's it. Great, great, great match. Good match. Evenly matched. Good job, Josh. Here we got another young fighter, Matt Troyer versus Brian Lee. Again, getting get the action started there. Both these guys, the, well, you can see Matt already going in for the shoot. Good defense by uh, Brian. Yeah, he knows how to deal with it. He's gone through this scenario a hundred times. He knows what's up. He's trying to throw the guillotine there or something. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, that he's, he, yeah, he's trying to get that guillotine, you know, a choke. It looks like he's got it sunk in there pretty good. Yeah, Matt needs to do exactly what he just did, which is pull his legs out of that guard. Oh, he sat into it. Nice roll. Yeah, he's still got that neck. Working that position. He's twerking the neck the whole time. Now with the underhooks. And he's sitting back, right back into it. Well, he is dedicated to it. Yeah, that's it. And it did a good job, too. Troyer taps out. Yeah. He really held on to that, that hole, didn't he? Oh, man, he's a strong guy, too. Real tough. Alright, here we are for the heavyweight finals of the grappling tournament. We got Sean versus John. It kind of rhymes that it. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Let's see what's going to happen here, man. Both of these guys have already gone through two opponents to get here, and uh, they both earned it, so I'm, I'm waiting to see what's going to happen here. Good takedown. Nice takedown there. Right in the guard. Sean's controlling this man. He wants to work that guard high, try to get the armbar submission or a triangle choke. 
Now, um, Sean has got to keep John close to him, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. He wants to uh, he wants to keep him close, keep him from backing out of those armbar and triangle attempts because uh, you know if somebody feels this coming, they're going to back out you know way ahead of time. So you got to keep him down on top of you. Looks like uh, John is just controlling the match at this point. Every uh, counter that Sean has, John has an answer for it. Yeah, he's maintaining that dominant position too, which is really important if it, if the match doesn't go into a submission. If it goes to a decision, that's something that the judges look at. Good side control there. Looks like that was a headlock. Walking around now into the uh, scar fold position. Really, really uncomfortable and it's hard to get out of. There's a lot of submissions the top man can throw from here. Yeah, especially with all that lean, all his weight. Yeah, Sean's really in trouble here. He needs to try to turn and take uh, take John's back if possible. Now, how would he do that? Would he scoot under? What he wants to do is he wants to uh, take his left leg here and, and throw it over top and try to walk around. As you see, it looks like that's what he's working on now. He's at his knees. Now, if he could just throw throw his legs around called sinking your hooks, right. if he could do that, he'd be all right. Good reversal by John. Right back into side control. All that work for nothing, right? <laughs> John, well, you called it right. You yeah, called it right. Yeah, John is just a really, really tough guy. Well, both these guys are. Sean is too. But uh, when you've got a little bit of a size advantage, it can make a difference. Yeah, it looks like that's what's happening here. And there he goes, throwing the uh, hooks in, trying to take the back position. If he can get his head out, he'll be all right. Didn't uh, John just have a, uh, uh, an MMA fight? Yeah, he sure did. Caged Inferno 2 down at Louisville Gardens. And he did a really good job. We're really proud of him for winning this fight there. Yeah, he looks like he's another one of these. He's going to be tough to reckon with in the future. Very promising fighter. Look at him now throwing the Americana style key lock from the Scarfold position. That's tough, man. If you're in a real fight here, you can just devastate your opponent with a hammer fist. I mean, and there's nothing they can do about it. Right. And not to take nothing away from Sean because he's another one. Uh, he's very strong. And he's going to be somebody to reckon with also. It looks like we ran out of time here, so we're going to go to the judges, and we see that John Troyer comes out our heavyweight grappling tournament winner. Great match. All right, Mike, here we are with the lightweight finals. we got Marco Aguirre facing off with Tony Thomas. This is going to be a Donnie Brook here. This is going to be a good match. Wow, you can see the wrestling skills come into play. Tony gets the takedown and immediately into the scarf hold. And position, position, position for the wrestler. Yeah, this is the, the classic wrestler versus jiu-jitsu style. I mean, you know, Marco is picking up a lot, and uh, he's doing a really, really good job with his submissions, and uh, Tony needs to watch out for that. Yeah. And uh, Marco needs to turn to him to get out of this position? Yeah, he wants to turn to his knees just like what he's doing, and he wants to try to take the back of Tony. Doesn't always work out the way you want it to, but he's well, in a dominant position now. So he's, he's got the back, and he's looking to sink in the hooks and maybe secure the choke. Tony, this is not a good position for Tony to be in. No, 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 no. He's got a few things that he can do to get out of here, but he really, really needs to work to get out before he's in this position. All right, Marco looks like he got the figure four on his stomach there on his ribs. Yeah, and that really, really secures the position to the back. I mean, it's really, really tough to turn into it once you've got that lock. We're working the choke. Oh, oh man, nice trying to slam. slam out of it. Yeah, but Marco holds on for dear life. He's tightening the grip a little bit there. See if he can work the blade of his forearm under Tony's chin. Now, uh, Tony, uh, again, uh, it, what can he do if he can do anything to try to get out of his position? Well, the best thing to do is remain calm, but um, there's a couple of straight arm bar options. Um, you can work the legs to see if you can break that figure four lock to escape or... Even, you know, if you can just get enough space to turn into your man, you can get the top position. You know, you'd be a lot right. better off than where he's at now. Yeah, that looks like a heck of a tough position to get out of. Yeah, Marco's got short legs, so when he when he uh, compresses that figure four lock, man, it really hurts. And it looks like he just did that, too. Yeah, and it'll make you tap, so Marco comes out the winner. Louisville MMA's heavyweight champion. John Troy, Louisville MMA lightweight champion, Marco Aguas.